so good morning everyone today we are in Chatham or Rochester I think it's Rochester uh, these postcodes are overlapping so it's a hot 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 day so today we have to replace a shower circuit but if you see it up there that white con plastic conduit so that was, I was called that uh, the isolator was burned and then as we ticking, uh, apparently there was a quite a 9.5 kilowatt shower with only 6 mil cable so uh, it was a matter of time for them to, to just give up and the other thing as we looking around you see yeah, let me see here. Yeah, all the he has like four different fuse boxes, and we're gonna replace all of them with a with just one ten-way consumer unit, and also we replace that twin and earth with a new armored. Uh, 10 mil that would be a lot better than just through the conduit it's so just great okay so I'll drop the gear up on the flat roof and I'll see you back in a sec so there we are again uh, I'm gonna remove all this conduit and the old cable so I'll give a scrap the good thing it's hot today, but on, on this part too, quite quite lucky. There's no the sun doesn't didn't turn yet over here. So at least outside will be out of the same sun silver lining again. Looks like I have to go inside to pull that cable out. Oh, hello. Hey. So I went from the inside of the loft, I have to pull that, the rest of the cable back in. And now, uh, time to push this one. So we're gonna use those clits over here to hold the cable on, on, on the wall. And what we're actually gonna do, let me see, we're gonna go over this lead piece and then straight up.
so <coughs> that was it uh, when I was unpacking I realized I couldn't find my selfie stick so recording is gonna be a bit of all improvising my camera if you could see it now is it's on the tripod and I secured it with a piece of cable uh, so there it is over there going up 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 and in up there I left it there like this on purpose so I didn't want to force a bend it's quite high to be honest I don't want to do fun stuff on that height so time to go back down again cut the power start a bit tight down here but not that bad so we're gonna, gonna do gonna remove all of this uh, this meter we see what we're gonna do with it it's an obsolete meter though it's not been used uh, it, from what they told me it was something uh, a public service was on the building and oh it's hot and they have a second meter for the guards so we'll see what we can do about it oh there we are again oh it's freaking hot I'm boiling so I have already removed everything so we have to Move the camera a little bit. So there we are. That's been moved. Everything has been taken out. Now we have a brand new consumer unit there. Ah, uh, I will. Oh, I need some lunch actually. I'm starving. I have something quickly to book to it, to it and then. I'll start testing to find out where all these cables are going and obviously patch those ones inside the trunking and after that I will put the house in service and finish off with the shower and uh, see you in a bit uh, Time for testing, so okay, I'm gonna do it I have those little fellas. I don't remember how they're called. They're with crocodile clips in each end, so you can link things together and test it. So, how are you gonna do? I'm gonna to make it quicker. I'm gonna link one lighting circuit and one circuit. So the is gonna be this one here. And then for the socket, I'm using this little fella, so you can plug your leads for your tester and test without having to open the <coughs> the sockets. And then for the lights, that's the usual props. God, it's so hot. So that was it. Job done. Uh, it was a bit of an interesting one. Uh, you know, uh, when you change in placing the old fuse box with fuse boxes with consuming units in this old house, it could be a bit tricky. But that was a bit of a funny situation. We have some a few interesting faults. So you know they you know because the old ones they don't have RCDs and then you you're going to upgrade you know during testing you get through faults that will, the RCD will pick up that when the old plane breaker or fuses uh, they couldn't uh, let me pull over here because Quite six. The camera, some working around. 
driving around. So, so yeah, that was a bit. There was some interesting fall. So, one was it. It's a bit funny. I was getting a fu funny readings on, on, on a ring. So I opened the sockets. So I found out it was a. In a few places it was wrong. So. In one socket, the CPC and the neutral was they were reversed, and then in another socket, the the neutral was, you know, the, as the ring, the two legs of the ring. So one of the neutrals, it was completely pulled out and was starting on on the CPC, and you know that old house is back in the day. I don't know, they were a bit dislike they have a dislike about sleeping so it was not sleeping on, on the CPC so as we were just bare cable uh, the neutral was touching on it and it uh, gave me a, a fault uh, what was the other one yeah one was uh, quite interesting uh, I was pulling a socket out and then it was like a it was like this timber structure on, on, floor to make it look like a, a big cell. There was a socket on it and as I pulled it, took it out, uh, it was mounted on a, on a metal back box. So yeah, you know, sometimes that's fine if you mount it properly, but as I was pulling, putting it back, the, the box fell over. Then apparently they, they, they mounted with silicone. So as I, I was pushing to, you know, when you pull, put the socket and you're pushing back, the the box completely gone. So I have to go and pick up a a, a dry liners box and replace it. And I had to cut the the, the the hole bigger. So that was yeah. There was another socket that was connected in just a random way. I just pull, put the cable, put the cables, just connect them anywhere, anywhere that was a something, a terminal block. Uh, yeah, and then, ah, yeah, the, 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 the other hilarious fault, it was on, on a light fitting, it was like those uh, pendant lights, the, 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 you know, the, those simple pendant lights with the cable and the ceiling rose. And apparently the, the the neutral the neutral of the flags was connected with uh, with the CBC, and I really boggled my head how how you know it was working you know through the earth path, and you know it was really really I didn't really even get how how the, whoever connected thought that that would be alright. Yeah, that house saw quite a lot of DIY, to be honest, and the, the owner was telling me that the previous owner was a funny guy, that he would, he would like to mess up with things. So, anyway guys, I was hoping this video to be a little, more, a little bit more detailed, but all this heat, uh, it just, you know, I, I couldn't operate it. I was struggling to work. I was, you know, constantly aware that, you know, when you get reached at this point and your brain overheats, you may do a mistake that could be a bit serious, but, you know, we got through it. I will attach some photos in the end of this video just to show you how everything is done. So, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. So, I, I, I guess that this one probably will be the first video to be uploaded, although it's not the first video recording. So that that was for today, guys. It's time to go home. I just need a shower. Okay, see you later, guys.